don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. And push the notification bell. To know when new videos are dropped. Welcome to Mr. Peacock and Friends Story Time. Are you going to tell us a story today? I have a very interesting story. So Mrs. Peacock, did you want to start this one off? Well, this was an interesting day. We started out with a cute little smiley face water tower and it went from there. Yeah, I love the Adair water tower and the M&M divide. And then we went to find Mrs. Peacock's special, special place. <laughs> it was a stagecoach run. And I think it was like 30 miles. Yeah, I think it's 30 miles. I think you're right. And we had to go look for, they're supposed to be numbered like one through 19. And we knew we were coming from this end, so we thought we'd stop at number 18. Well, we never found the single mile marker. And we were going on this back road and it was in the middle of nowhere. And we bought a GPS about a year or two ago. And we thought we knew where we were going. And we got a map from Guthrie County Department. And, and with the GPS and the map, that's the only way we didn't get lost in the middle of the countryside. Yeah, thank goodness for the map because I don't think we'd have made the trip otherwise. No, no, you must have a GPS. But so as we're driving down the road, we're looking for all these wonderful little stops. We found nothing. Finally, we found one. We did it. We found the cemetery. It was kind of cool. We also found a place where uh, there was a post office and it was really neat. So we started to find the next part of our journey of the many, many miles. And all of a sudden, a road grader was out on this short road. I mean, there was hardly any room for two vehicles, let alone a road grader. And he had a huge hump in the center of the road. So we're trying to find the markings. We're trying to find it. It's curving all around. I can imagine stagecoaches taking that route because it was really interesting. It was pretty. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I saw some tracks and there was nobody around here. It looked like cars. And the next thing we know, there was a tan or a yellowish pickup came out of nowhere. We were following, I'm going, oh no, we're gonna have an accident. I can't see the dust. And all of a sudden, the curve of the road went to the right. And when we got there, the pickup was gone. There was no way to get off it. So we call it our ghost pickup. There was no sign of him. There was no way possible. It was rather interesting because roads curve, real sharp curves. And when we went that first curve, there might have been a little grassy area to the right because I was looking for numbered signs. But down ahead toward the next curve was this very pale yellow pickup. And like I said, when we got to the next curve, it wasn't there. Perhaps it was our friendly ghost. I don't believe in that sort of thing, but after seeing that, what else could you call it? <laughs> so then we went on to a couple other places. Where do we go, Mrs. Peacock? Well, we finally got to the end of the stagecoach route. Eventually, yes. we had to go through some uh, power people and they set up lawn chairs in the middle of the road to have a coffee break. <laughs> we barely could get by. It was so funny. They were happy and they were having a coffee break. I'm going like, are you supposed to be working on power lines or having a picnic in the middle of the countryside? <laughs> it was crazy. But we finally got to the next ghost town and figured, let's go somewhere else. So we headed to Guthrie Center to what else? Oh, we the went. The devil's chair. Your favorite chair. And I'll tell you what, I'm not into that ghost thing, but I wasn't going to tempt fate with anything. So we got in and out of there as fast as possible. And you have to check that video link down below. We'll, you could watch that video if you haven't done so already. And then we went on to, uh, I think we found the round gymnasium. Yeah, that was in Yale. Yeah, and that was cool. And, and then we were off to one of Mrs. Peacock's special places and we couldn't find this one either. This one was a eight-sided bar. You can tell this story, Mrs. Peacock, because this was <laughs> the thing that really made things go crazy for the rest of this day. Well, we were looking for the eight-sided bar and according to the address, it was down this road, but we got past it. So he turned around in a lane and then backed up and then parked on the road to fix the GPS to see if we could find that address. 
And he did that. We went forward to the next house and we parked out in front of it looking for the eight-sided barn out the windows when he said, here comes a pickup, a real fast pickup. I'm like, oh, okay. So we pulled off the side of the road. This pickup comes around the car, blocks us, turns the other way across the road. And just like you see in the police movies and a person gets out, comes running over to the car and says, what are you doing? And it was crazy. I'm looking, there are young guys, maybe in 20s, mid 20s, and they look like they were the Dukes of Hazard from the back days. And I'm going like, okay, this is crazy. And Mrs. Peacock's just sitting there. I'm saying, okay, we got to get out of here. This is not good. I said, well, we're looking for a a side of barn. And he says, blah, blah, blah. and he just was going on. And, and all of a sudden he moved back and I said, see you later. And we went. And the next thing I know for the next 10 miles, they're on our tail. They're almost trying to hit us in the back. We ended up missing one of the sites that we were supposed to go film. And I said, we got to get to the next biggest town and find a police center because they came within inches of my back of my bumper. And then they passed us and then stopped really, really front of us. I went slow as I could possibly go. I'm going, okay, how am I going to get out of this? I didn't have any stunt training in car driving. And finally, they turned off to the right and we went on to the next town to find this big bicycle that's huge. It was kind of scary. And they say that that chair in that cemetery in Guthrie Center is haunted. Again, I don't believe in that sort of stuff, but this all started us with seeing that ghost pick up before we got to the chair and then after the chair it was really weird so that's our story mrs peacock and you know we've been doing this hidden treasure journey for six years over 200 places we've been to never had a problem every town we went to were great to us they invited us in treated us like we were relatives but this was crazy so my advice to you is if you ever go on a hidden treasure journey and you use your GPS, never turn around in someone's lane and never stop near someone's place. I think we had a garden angel watching over us that day. So that chair brought us good luck. We didn't get killed on our hidden treasure journey. It was an interesting day to say the least, but I liked it the next time we went on a trip and we got lost and we were on a gravel road. You said, should I stop? I said, no, no. <laughs> you're not stopping on a gravel road. You're not turning around in anybody's lane. We've had enough of that. Yeah, so that's our story on story time. So hopefully you found that interesting and, and be careful when you go in Guthrie County in the backwoods because there might be some interesting people back there. Yeah, that's right. So time's up. We've got to go. So until next time on story time. Well, I can't wait to tell you our next exciting story. See you later. Order the Wacky World of Peafowl books at peafowl.com.